I'm excited to show you a new feature of the software and it is custom workspaces. We've been asked a number of times over the years to include the ability to create your own custom workspace, rearrange icons where you want and save them and be able to switch to that workspace at any time. And so this latest build of the software, we are able to do that. You now have the ability to rearrange icons, put them in the position you want and then save it so that you can access it at any time. And so if you close the software with a certain workspace selected, you can open it back up and it can be in that work, that workspace. Um, and so in doing this though, we had to take a look at all of our icons and, and determine are they all grouped together appropriately. And the reason we had to do that is because before, if you would have selected this row of icons, instead of being able to just select the text, icons it would select the entire row of icons and if you tried to move it it would move the entire row and you had no way of taking let's say these middle icons and moving them to the front and it just we had to take everything and look at okay where do they fit with each other and we had to break them up a little bit so in saying that we always try very hard to keep tools in the exact same location but we weren't able to do that in when we created this ability to create custom workspaces. So now you'll find a couple of the icons have moved and and like I said before we know that that can be uncomfortable at first but we've kept them pretty close to the same location so it shouldn't be too hard to find a tool that you might have been used to being in another spot. So for example the save to sew icon is now located directly underneath the zoom box and it used to be up beside it also the um, wizard the auto digitizing wizards there used to be located kind of close to the text and now it's up in the top and it's located next to the magic wands which are also auto digitizing tools and so we've tried to group them according to um, the specific function that they they do and so hopefully it won't take too much for you to get used to but the payoff is we now have the ability to create custom workspaces and and I know that's gonna excite a lot of people so I just want to show you kind of how this works so let's say that you edit a lot and and when you edit designs you like to have your selection tools readily available or any editing tools available you can take like your selection uh, icons and notice that it's broken up so that it's not all together with these other icons and I can pull it out and I can just have it floating here if I want to and if I save this workspace now it's going to come up in this location every time I can take this group and I can slide it up so that it's up above and let's say that I do utilize a lot of the tools for when I'm editing for centering or distributing objects I can take that and I can bring it and pull it down as well I can put this anywhere I want I could I could instead keep this up top here and I can make it even into another row and I could bring these icons over here to the left and I could save that. And so sometimes according to what you wanna do, you could create workspaces for digitizing so that all your digitizing tools are more readily available or for editing so that they are right there accessible. Um, you now have the flexibility to do it however you kind of want to do it. And you can rearrange these in any way you want. You could take this row and you could move it to the end and you could slide all these down. You could take your text. If you use text a lot, you might float it right here or you might even bring it in and put it over here on this side or on this row right here. It's kind of up to you on how you want to do it. So once you get it positioned where you want, you just go up to toolbars and now um, you'll notice that there's a lot more toolbar options and these are each little section is um, like modify and optimize is going to is going to be a group of icons you have edit which is going to be a group of icons so there's a lot more toolbars now um, because we've broken up 
the toolbars so that they're they go together each tool for what they do goes together and so down at the bottom though you'll see workspaces so let's say that this is what I wanted to save I would just go to workspaces and I would choose save workspace I can also delete a workspace you can see I have a couple of them here saved already if I go to save workspace I get to give it a name so I could choose demo 2 and hit OK and now this workspace is saved and I can access it at any time and I can even change the workspace as well um, so I can go back to resetting it and getting it back to a um, default setting if I want so in order to flip through them you just go to toolbars workspaces and you just choose one of the saved workspaces if you've saved them and if you just want to get everything back to normal all you have to do is select reset workspace right here so it's really easy to work with now you get a lot of flexibility for creating workspaces and we hope that you enjoy this new feature